everyone and welcome to a new episode of Gaining English. This is a special episode because it's the first in a series of episodes that I am creating for beginner English learners. So if you know a little bit of English but want to expand your vocabulary, then keep watching because I will be using The Sims 4 to teach you. I've created a new family in The Sims 4, so let's go in and take a look. This is the Robinson family. This is Hilary Robinson. So what's great about The Sims is you can use this to learn body descriptions, clothing styles, hairstyles, and personality. Let's start with personality. First, her dream or her goal is to be a Renaissance Sim. The Renaissance period is a historical time period about 500 years ago. So think Michelangelo. That's the Renaissance period. New technology, new art, new ways of thinking. So what this means for Hillary is that she wants to learn about a lot of different things. She wants to learn about art, technology, she wants to read a lot of books, and be good at a lot of different things. This means she is a quick learner. She learns very fast. Now these are her personality traits. She is a genius or extremely smart. She's cheerful or happy. See, she's laughing. She looks very happy. And best of all, she is a geek. She loves science fiction, so spaceships. She loves comics. She loves movies. She loves, most importantly, video games. We like Hillary. So Hillary has dark brown or black hair. I would say, yeah, she has black hair black eyebrows, brown eyes, a straight nose, her lips have a purple lipstick on, so she's wearing purple lipstick. She's wearing a red turtleneck sweater. Turtleneck is talking about this part on her neck. For some reason, we call that a turtleneck. Think about the animal turtle. And maybe you'll see why. I don't completely see why myself, but that's what we call it, a turtleneck sweater. She's wearing jeans. You can say she's wearing dark jeans. And she's wearing red boots. These boots are so cute. I love them. This is her winter wear. So when it's very cold out, she'll wear this. This is her everyday wear. So when it's nice and sunny out, not too hot or too cold, she wears this. It's a dark red blazer jacket, hoop earrings, we call these hoop earrings. Pink eyeshadow. On her eyes, she's wearing pink eyeshadow. Her hair is in a ponytail. So pony, like the animal, we say ponytail. That one makes more sense to me than turtleneck. But let me know in the comments if you think turtleneck makes more sense than ponytail. She's wearing a gold necklace, a white belt. We would call this a waist belt because it's around her waist. She's not wearing any pants, so her legs are bare. And she's wearing flat sandals. Flat flat because there isn't a heel. Let me show you a heel. This 
Down here at the bottom is a heel, but hers are flat. Where did they go? Oh dear. Let's find them again. Oh no, I think I lost them. Oh well, these are cute too. These are wedges. So before you had a heel in the back, these are an entire sole that's lifted. So we call that a wedge. Here she's wearing heels for her formal attire. Attire is clothing. It's a fancy way to say clothing, but you can call anything attire. You can call this attire. It's just a fancier word, but this is her formal attire or formal clothing. She has her hair in an updo. This is different from a ponytail because it's a bit more formal looking. It's an updo. She's still wearing her pink eyeshadow and her purple lipstick and blue earrings and a blue dress. Also a black belt. And that is her formal attire. This is her athletic attire or what she goes to jog in or work out. She's wearing a sweatshirt and these would be called yoga pants and sneakers. So this is her sleeping attire. She wears a robe to bed and these comfy little slippers. So this is what we wear around the house, especially when it's cold outside and we want to feel cozy. So these slippers are very cozy and warm. This is her party outfit. So a glittery, sparkly top, blue necklace, these bracelets, and she's wearing blue leggings. These are different from pants because they're tighter. They're not loose, they're tighter. They fit to her leg. This is her swimsuit. It's underneath. It looks like she's wearing a bikini underneath. This is for hot weather, when it's really hot outside. I know it doesn't look very different from this outfit, but it's a little less covered. We have a collared shirt. We call it a collared shirt when it has a collar here on it. It's rolled up, up her arms, and then buttoned down. It's when you have something that buttons down the front and a skirt and her original outfit that you saw. This is Hilary Robinson. She is the mother in the family. Her husband is Barry Robinson. So let's take a closer look at Barry. His dream is to be a friend of the animals. So he wants to just be around animals all day, which is perfect for him because he is a veterinarian or a doctor who takes care of animals. So he has this extra personality trait called animal affection. He is able to bond or become closer to animals and they like him a lot. And he's a romantic he loves giving roses and talking about romantic things. He's also a dog lover, of course. And finally, he is a vegetarian. He only eats fruits, vegetables, breads, no meat, no fish. This is his everyday wear or outfit or attire. He's a little bit more casual than his wife. He is wearing a collared shirt, buttoned down, but it's open. There's a t-shirt underneath and the sleeves are rolled up. He's wearing regular jeans and sneakers. It looks like Adidas. This is his formal attire. So he's wearing a suit. A suit is the jacket, the pants, 
And then underneath, a vest sometimes, not always, but he's wearing a vest here and a blue button-down shirt underneath. But you can see it's a little bit unbuttoned. He's, he's very casual. This is his sporting or athletic attire. He's wearing a hooded sweatshirt. The hood is here to put over his head. A hooded sweatshirt. Some people in certain regions might call this a hoodie. He's wearing sweatpants and sneakers. He also wears a robe for bedtime. Nice and cozy. And this is his party outfit. He's wearing another button-down sweater this time. It looks like a sweater at least. And a shirt underneath. Again, the buttons are a little bit open here. He's just more casual. And some interesting looking shoes. I don't know about these shoes. I don't really know if they fit, but he doesn't know fashion very, very well. These are his swim trunks. We call men's swimsuits swim trunks when they look like shorts. This is his hot weather wear. So a short button down shirt, a V-neck shirt underneath. This is V-neck. And jeans that he rolled up. So rolled up jeans, rolled up shirt. He likes rolled up. This is his winter wear. He's wearing a jacket, green pants, another V-neck, maybe a V-neck sweater underneath, and a t-shirt underneath that. And that is Barry Robinson. He is the father in the family. Now we're going to look at their daughter. She's a teenager. Teenager is between the ages of 13 to 18 or 19 years old. I think she's probably about 15 or 16. Her goal in life is to be a bodybuilder or to get really strong. So she works out a lot. She is extremely athletic or active, but she's also a goofball. She likes jokes. She likes being silly and she's probably very easygoing or doesn't take things seriously. She has a cute sense of style. I love her sense of style. Maybe a goofball kind of look, right? Maybe a little silly and lighthearted, but she's very cute. So she has buns in her hair. They're so cute. She's wearing a polka dot sweater. When you see these dots or spots here, we call those polka dot, a pink skirt and tights with little hearts on them. They're so cute. And she's wearing ankle boots. Ankle is this part of your body here. And since the boots come up to the ankle, you call them ankle boots. This is her formal wear, a cute purple dress with a black bow here. It's frilly at the bottom. These are frills. We have a necklace here and a bracelet here. This is her workout wear. A sweatshirt that's off the shoulder. It's falling off of her. Sweatpants and some very stylish looking sneakers. She is also wearing a ponytail. Nighttime wear is also a robe and slippers. And this is her party outfit. She's wearing some pretty earrings, a necklace, and she's also wearing wedges. This is her swimsuit. It's a one piece swimsuit, which means it attaches all together. And this is her cute, adorable summer hot weather wear. So she's wearing this t-shirt with a little cat face on it, a skirt with what looks like paws and a heart and some very interesting heels to go with it. And finally, her winter wear, a nice big comfy sweatshirt, 
a button down skirt with pockets here, tights, and boots. And that is Ava. Our final family member is our little Hunter Robinson. He is adorable, isn't he? He is a whiz kid. Whiz means very smart. So he is dreaming of being the smartest kid ever. He's a genius, so he's extremely intelligent. If you've ever watched The Big Bang Theory or Young Sheldon, think about Young Sheldon, and that's what he is, basically. So this is his everyday where I really did model him after Sheldon Cooper in The Big Bang Theory. I had to, I'm sorry. He's wearing a bow tie, a vest, a rolled up shirt, jeans. These shoes are called loafers. This is his formal wear. He's wearing a tie, a vest underneath, a long jacket in the back. We call this, I think, coat tails. It's long enough to be called a coat tail, I think. Very formal. This is his active wear, t-shirt, shorts, his nighttime wear, with slippers, sweatpants, and t-shirt. And his party wear, he's wearing suspenders. These are suspenders, kind of geeky, right? With his bow tie and his pink button down shirt, it's adorable, I love it. And like his dad, he likes rolling up his pants and his shirt. These are his swim trunks. And this is for hot weather. He's still wearing his bow tie, his button down shirt, and shorts. And this is for when it's cold outside. This is his winter attire. He's wearing a turtleneck and a blazer jacket. Very posh, very fashionable. And I think these are khaki pants. Khaki is a type of fabric that is usually light colored. And that is Hunter Robinson, that is our family. But we have one more important family member to look at. This is Cosmo. He is a Cocker Spaniel. That is a breed of dog. And he's just a happy little dog, isn't he? He's so cute. And that is our family. We're going to play this family for this whole series of basic or elementary English. So if you want to expand your vocabulary, practice your English in a fun and new way, and you love The Sims or love gaming or video games in general, this is the perfect series for you. And I hope to see you for the next episode where we move them into their new home. And so we'll learn a lot of house vocabulary and some new verbs. So hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.